Welcome! This video is an overview of several new batch processing features introduced in version 9.1 of Origin and Origin Pro. This video will show you how to use Origin for batch plotting, copy and pasting formulas, copy and pasting fitting operations, and batch analysis using gadgets. First, we take a look at the new batch plotting tool. Batch plotting enables you to duplicate an existing graph using new data from another column or from another worksheet in the same origin project file. This is a worksheet with multiple columns of Y data that all share a single column of X data. The first set of Y data from column B has been plotted against the X data in the graph below. To use the other Y columns for creating graphs with the same customization, right-click in the title bar of the graph window and in the context menu select Duplicate Batch Plotting. We choose to duplicate with new columns. This will bring up a list of the other Y columns from the same worksheet that was used to create the graph. Select all the columns by highlighting the first one, holding down Shift, and then selecting the last one. This dialog alerts us to the fact that in some of the new graphs a significant amount of the data will lie outside the axis scale of the original graph. Opt to always rescale and click OK. Note that this only applies to a significant portion of data, and if a small amount lies outside the axis scale, that graph will not rescale automatically. We want to see all the graphs together. Hide the workbook by right-clicking it in Project Explorer and selecting Hide. Then in the Window menu, select Tile horizontally to see all the new graphs side by side. In this next example, we have a multi-layer graph which displays data contained in a single worksheet. We have three other worksheets containing similar sets of data, which means that they have identical XY column designations. We want to use batch plotting to create similar graphs for each of them. Right-click on the title bar of the graph window again and mouse down to duplicate batch plotting. Since our data is stored in different worksheets, select Duplicate with New Sheets or Books. Alternatively, we could use the Duplicate with New Sheets or Books button on the toolbar up here. Let's click that to open the Select Worksheet dialog. Select the other three chromatogram worksheets and click OK to create three batch plotted graphs. Once again, I'm going to hide the workbook in Project Explorer, hold on Shift to select multiple ones, right click and select hide again. Again to tile, go to window and select this option. Origin has introduced the capability to copy and paste formulas. To demonstrate this feature, we have a workbook that converts Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates using column formula. In past versions of Origin, we could use the Set Column Values dialog to specify formulas for a column. There was no easy way to copy and paste these formulas to new columns. However, now we have added an f of x row. Each column that has a formula displays it. To copy these formulas to other columns, highlight the columns containing the formula we wish to copy and then right click. From the context menu, select copy and then choose copy formula. All we have to do to paste these formula is to highlight the columns we want to paste them in, right click and choose paste. Now that we've pasted the formulas, we can see them in the f of x row. Now we're going to take a look at how to use origin to copy and paste the fitting operation. This first graph here has already had a linear fit performed in it. Click on the recalculate icon, select change parameters and open the dialog. There are two settings. The intercept was fixed at zero and the other default was to not paste the results table to the source graph. To copy the fitting operation, Click on the recalculate icon again and towards the bottom of the context menu select copy operation. You have a few choices to paste the operation. You can paste it to a single data set, to every data set within a single layer, or to every data set within any layer of the graph. Right click on this single data set and then scroll down in the context menu. Select paste operation. This applies the linear fit to that single data set. In the bottom layer of this graph, there are three separate data sets. If we want to apply the linear fit to each data set, right click on the layer background and again choose paste operation. You could also paste the operation such that it applies the fit to every data set in the graph 
regardless of which layer it's on. To do this, right-click on the background of the graph where you're not clicking any inside any layer and choose Paste Operation again. The final feature we're going to talk about today shows you how to use Origin to perform batch analysis using gadgets. This is a graph containing five separate curves. The Integrate gadget has been used to calculate the area of the first one. You can access controls and settings by clicking this flyout button here. The context menu contains two new batch analysis items. These items allow you to output the area for each curve in the layer or for every layer in the graph. Since all these curves are contained in a single layer, choose the new output for all curves item. This generates a results worksheet. You can access this by clicking the flyout button again and going to results worksheet. This concludes our video on batch processing. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit us on our website.